Welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today, as you see in the title, we're canning green beans. I've saved up these three bags of green beans over the last couple of days, and now all I've got to do is get them ready. Um, I've got my jars sterilized in the dishwasher. We're going to pressure can these, and that's the only way to do this. This is a low acid food, and so you want to pressure can them. I've got uh, my colander that I'll rinse all the green beans really well after I've got them done and cut up and then we'll get to filling our jars. We're going to raw pack these. So if this inspires you to try your own green beans, please leave me a thumbs up and a comment in the comment section. And don't forget, I come back every Monday, Thursday and Saturday. All right, let's get to making these. As you can see, I'm loading my jars and so I'm raw packing this. So all I've got to do is put it in the jar. I need to pour hot water over it. I don't add salt because when I open this jar, I don't want to already have salt added. It's not necessary for preservation, it just enhances the flavor, but I usually will add some chunks of bacon, and you want to fill this within an inch of headspace, so to the bottom rim here, and then I've always got a little bowl of vinegar. And we're going to go ahead and debowl. This is super important too. And if you're not sure of your headspace, get yourself one of these. They come in the basic canning, canning uh, kit, and it has little steps down here. It'll measure it for you. So you debubble. This also helps get the beans in there a little bit better. So you might be able to add a few more if you want. I think I'm going to add a couple to this one here. Maybe one over here. And then what we're going to do is get a clean napkin, wipe the rim of my jar with vinegar, and I always use vinegar, but it's just a habit and I like to keep good habits. So get your lid and your ring, and these are pint and a half size jars. So they're perfect for two people. I think the pint jars are too small, I end up using two, or I end up a quart's a little bit too much for Michael and I. And this is also perfect if you're going to use, um, do a shepherd's pie. So I'm going to get these all so in the canner. So my last jar is going in the canner. And I want to tell you that I'm following the instructions from the ball canning book. This needs to be canned for 25 minutes. They don't have a measurement in there for pint and a half size jars, but pints are 20 minutes, quarts are 25. And to be on the safe side, we're going to go 25. I, even the last time I did this, went um, 30 minutes because I had carrots in there as well. And it came out just fine. They're not mushy. They're not overly done. And the last thing I do, I turn my burner up. This has had hot water in it. And this is my all-American canner. Oh, I love this thing. Dump the rest of your vinegar in there. That'll keep your jars from getting cloudy. We're going to put the lid on, let it vent. When it starts spewing steam out of the vent hole, it, it, let it vent for 10 minutes and then go ahead and put your weight on and um, when it starts rocking and it comes up to 15 pounds of pressure for my altitude, um, you may be 10 pounds. Please check your area and uh, we'll let it go. As soon as it comes up to pressure, we'll let it go for 25 minutes. All right, guys. I'll be back when I'm taking them out. So our canner has come down off of pressure and we're ready to go ahead and remove the lid. And because my canner, the way it's set, has to be pulled forward just a bit because of the microwave and so you can remove this you undo all of these wing nuts and be careful there's steam I let this sit at zero pounds of pressure take off my weight let's put it over there take off my weight and let it just kind of sit there and calm down a little bit um, we're going to go ahead and take our jars out. And oh my gosh, look how pretty. There you go. And because we raw packed, you're going to have quite a bit of air space because the vegetables have air in them, but I don't mind that. So if any of you have canning questions, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. And let me know how you can your green beans. You can hot pack these and it takes a lot of the air out of the vegetables. And, um, but again, we don't seem to mind. So let me know if you want to see more canning videos. I hope you check the links that I've left for you in the description box below. And as always, guys, happy canning. Oh, enjoy your gardens.